Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I want to start this video by, let's just stroll down memory lane for a second. What did we hear from all of the traditional financial media and the, and the traditional financial firms for over the course of the last, say, five years about digital assets and crypto? Bitcoin and crypto, um, pretty much those were the terms that they used and they just they said that this was just for it was for money laundering it was for drugs it was ponzi scheme all of the things that they had been saying well for the last year and a half i have told you that not only um are they saying these things intentionally to drive people away from the market so that they could probably invest but also that not not one or some of those companies are going to come into digital assets, but all of those companies are going to come into digital assets and they will say anything to uh, help their position as they do enter digital assets. Well, I got, I get to cover two of our favorite companies in this regard uh, in the early part of this video today. So let's get it going. The first that I would like to show you, came to me from Chinu Patel at Chinu Patel 29. Um, and he sent a, an Anthony Pompliano tweet. And hopefully this morning, we're going to get a lot of good cooperation from my computer. I have a lot of tabs open today. Anthony Pompliano tweeted this, JP Morgan owns a ship that was just seized by the U.S. Customs because it had $1 billion of drugs on it. One billion dollars of drugs in a single ship, but Bitcoin is bad and the criminals should be stopped. Remember, I need to say it again. Bitcoin can only, it, all we've heard for the last five years, it can only be used for money. It's only used for money laundering and by drug dealers. That's been the whole flag they've been waving, right? Okay, let's, let's take a, a look. This is, this is the article that Anthony Pompliano's tweet is referring to U.S. Customs just seized a ship owned by J.P. Morgan after authorities found one billion dollars worth of drugs on it. And you, you would think, oh, OK, well, this is just some this is just some one little thing where this happened and they just happened to own the ship. Right. Well, this is a Bloomberg article from December 28, 2018. Hong Kong watchdog finds JP Morgan over money laundering controls. So their controls on money laundering are just kind of whatever. But, and then, and then you would see that and you'd say, well, okay, well that, that again, that they're a big company. They're just, that's just, uh, something that happened. They weren't all aware of it. And then this article is from November 13th, 2018. How ex JP Morgan silver traders guilty plea could boost manipulation claim against bank. Well, you could say, well, that's just some rogue trader and da, 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 da. That's just some rogue trader. But if you go further into the article and you go down to here, it says prosecutors said Edmonds, who was the guy that was doing the manipulation. Prosecutors said Edmonds learned the deceptive strategy from more senior traders at the bank and that he personally deployed this strategy hundreds of times with the knowledge and consent of his immediate supervisors. His guilty plea related specifically to trading in silver futures contracts, as well as in gold, platinum, and palladium futures. Well, the point here, folks, is obvious. Because remember, nobody ever goes to jail. Maybe this guy, maybe this lone wolf trader guy, maybe he, they made him a fall guy, but I don't think, I don't know. But the point is, Nobody big ever goes to jail. They get, they make a billion dollars and get fined a hundred million. Think about how those numbers work out. They work out pretty well. So just remember, and, and, but I just wanted to, to nail this point home about these. It's, it's not just JP Morgan. It's, it's the big boys. They've always been in a racket and anybody who tells you that they're not in a, that these companies are not in, in a racket that just, 
and, and I've told you before, the creation of the Federal Reserve itself was the creation of a racket. That is the whole point of all this. Digital assets, that is, is, it, it is for, it is a creation, it is a revolution is what it is. There's really no better term than that. It is a financial revolution that was created as our savior of all of these people and all this corruption. That's what it was, and it always has been. And that's why all of these people have been calling it money laundering and this and this. I, I noticed in 2013 when I first got into this, we were literally, we were literally looked at almost like we were criminal just for owning digital assets. And we didn't, we didn't know if tomorrow was the day that we were just going to be told that it was declared illegal. Now, it was not declared illegal, which makes me believe that the powers that be have been in on this game from the very beginning. And that what they were accumulating as far back as then. That's what I really believe in my gut. I don't know what they were accumulating, but it was some of these digital assets. Um, all right, Rhythm Trader. The halvening is 314 days. Bitcoin's inflation rate will be cut to 1.8%. Why is that important? It will be lower than central banks target 2% inflation rate. And even with gold supply rate yearly increase. A huge moment in financial history. And just for those of you that don't know, this the Bitcoin happening um, in in the past on the it, before this has happened, there's been a run up in Bitcoin prices. That's what you really need to know. Okay, um, <laughs> and next to another one of my favorite topics, um, if we can get this computer to cooperate with us, um, this one is going to be from. Let me get some coffee here. This one is going to be from NBK Crypto at NBKLYRAD. And this is an article that came out yesterday. Um, and this is Goldman Sachs. Now remember, Goldman Sachs, the same company that told us that they weren't going to get into digital assets and all this business, right? Goldman Sachs, and, I, and what I said for the last year is they're not just coming in, all of them, not some. All, and when I say all, I mean even the conservative, even a Charles Schwab, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, all of them are coming into digital assets. So this article is from uh, the block crypto, Goldman Sachs set to go further than ever before with new digital asset project. Goldman Sachs has launched a new digital asset team. They've got a team now, folks. It is now look, looking for someone to figure out what exactly it will do. Goldman Sachs has launched a new crypto business with its incubator and it's looking to go further than ever before with digital assets according to a new job listing of, obtained by the block. And so apparently, that, and here's a quote, it says, project managers on the digital asset team will play an integral, integral role in helping to find both the scope and direction of the business. It said, in short, we're evolving and looking for some of the most talented individuals in the world to help us go further than even before. Although details for the job are sparse, insiders say Goldman could be setting its sights on launching something akin to JPM coin. But of course, their coin folks, remember, their coin will not be used for money laundering and will not be used for drug buying. Their digital asset will be legit and for real. It's just those others, the others that represent the freedom of you and me. This, this is different. This is not for any of that kind of nefarious activity, nothing like that. Okay, um, so the, I wanted to give XRP Crypto Wolf, he had uh, also summed this up. Um, <laughs> this computer, <laughs> I've been telling you guys I was getting a new computer and I am. Um, at XRP Crypto Wolf, he says that he summarized this. Insiders say Goldman Sachs is setting its sights on launching something akin to JPM coin. Goldman set out to go further with digital asset pro new digital asset project. Goldman Sachs launched new digital asset team and will explore new digital asset opportunities. And I want to show you an oldie but a goodie. Um, remember, this is the same Goldman Sachs on August 3rd, 2018. This is an article from Markets Insider. Goldman Sachs, Bitcoin is never coming back. All right. This is what they said. And this is their... Um, 
In, in a mid-year economic outlook report, the bank's investment strategy group says the price of Bitcoin is likely to decline even further. Our view that cryptocurrencies would not retain value in their current incarnation remains intact and, in fact, has been borne out much sooner than we expected. The team led by Chief Investment Officer Sharman Masavar Ramani said, We expect further declines in the future. Uh, in, in, in the future, given our view that these cryptocurrencies do not fulfill any of the three traditional roles of currency, they are neither a medium, medium of exchange, nor a unit of measurement, nor a store of value. Importantly, we continue to believe that such declines will not negatively impact the performance of broader financial assets. Because cryptocurrency, see, this is what it's really about. This is the real reason they wrote this article, or part of the reason. We continue to believe that such declines will not negatively affect, impact the performance of broader financial assets, which is what they're concerned about at this time. Because cryptocurrencies just represent 0.3% of the world GDP uh, as of mid-2018, the report said. In fact, we believe that they garner far more traditional media and social media attention than, it, than is warranted. So, but now, folks, they're ready to come in. So now you're going to find out from Goldman Sachs just how important digital assets are, especially Goldman Sachs coin, if that's what they call it. <laughs> that one's going to be really, really important, and it's going to be really important to be in your portfolio, probably. I'm sure. I can. This is just this is my crystal ball, but I'm just telling you what what my gut tells me here. <laughs> These people are unbelievable, but they're actually very believable. I mean, in in the things that they the way that they will change their tune to suit their narrative. XR, at XRP Crypto Wolf, Poloniex, which is owned, remember, Poloniex is owned by Circle, and Circle is, uh, Goldman Sachs is an investor in Circle. Poloniex now offers fiat to crypto trading using bank accounts, as well as debit and credit cards. Customers can now deposit and withdraw USD funds using bank accounts as well as purchase crypto assets directly on Poloniex with debit and credit cards. Folks, that this is important because the fact that Goldman is invested in Circle who owns Poloniex, the fact that this is going on and all of a sudden they are they're getting linked up to bank accounts, this tells you that the regulations are getting straightened out and that Everything's about to become legit. Um, and finally, I got this. Let's see who this is from. This is from Mr. B. At XRP, Mr. Um, sent me this one. If we can get it to come up. Um, let me see. Do a little. Ref okay, here we go. Now, this is a, a tweet from Anthony Pompliano. Uh, he's replying to a tweet from Peter Schiff, which I'll show you later. If gold hits $2,000, what will Bitcoin be worth? Peter Schiff replies to him and says, I'm doing a Bitcoin challenge live on my YouTube channel on Monday night. I'm inviting people to try to change my mind on Bitcoin. Feel free to take a shot. You never know. You may convince me that I'm wrong. My mind is open. In other words, Peter Schiff is going to change his tune, not necessarily on Bitcoin, but on digital assets, in my opinion. I've, I've always thought that he would eventually go to a, a uh, where he has his gold and precious metals business and side by side, he's going to have a digital asset business because it's the perfect complement. I've said that a lot. I've also said that I'm a big fan of Peter Schiff. I like Peter Schiff. I agree with just about 99% of what he says until he starts talking about digital assets. Um, and then some guy was t saying, you're trying to get YouTube revenue. I don't think Peter Schiff's too worried about that. But I replied to Peter, I said, hi, Peter, the only point you need to hear is XRP. It was never Bitcoin. Bitcoin only, boy, Bitcoin only got digital assets through the door. XRP is the one and always has been. Go to Ripple.com and look around. I've been following you for years and I'm a big fan. And I showed him the chart that Bitcoin people do not ever want to talk about. XRP, the best digital asset for payments. And it shows the speed, the cost, and the scalability of XRP versus Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Litecoin. And it literally, as I said the other day, drop kicks Bitcoin. There is not even a discussion in terms of speed, cost, or scalability. The Bitcoin people know it. 
I've always felt like Bitcoin was their short to medium term play and that they all, the smart ones like Anthony Pompliano, I, I believe that they all are closet XRP investors. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that Bitcoin only got digital assets through the door. XRP is the one and always has been. And if you don't believe me, go look around at Ripple.com. Thank you for listening.